Republican congressman and best man having the microphone ripped away 10 seconds into his wedding toast, Matt Gates is being investigated by the Justice Department over whether everything you'd assumed about him is more or less true. On March 16th, my father got a text message demanding a meeting wherein a person demanded $25 million in exchange for making horrible sex trafficking allegations against me go away. Our family was so troubled by that, we went to the local FBI. And the FBI and the Department of Justice were so concerned about this attempted extortion of a member of Congress that they asked my dad to wear a wire, which he did with the former Department of Justice official. Must be totally innocent since someone thought they could only squeeze a mere $25 million out of him. Later, startling new details emerged in this case, this time broken by intrepid reporter Matt Gates. I really saw this as a deeply troubling challenge for my family on March 16th when people were, you know, talking about a, a minor and that there were pictures of me with child prostitutes. Apology to our viewers. It's difficult to hear Matt Gates over the sound of federal prosecutors typing every word he says into the indictment. Rob, you're a screenwriter. Assuming this is the first five minutes of the Matt Gates movie, how's the rest gonna go? You know, I think Gates has a, a good case here. When you talk about, uh, you know, the $25 million extortion fund and the father wearing the wire. It, it sounds so plausible. Fate is so cruel. Matt had just finished floating the weird, sudden decision to quit Congress and work for the shadiest network on TV. Then bam, he finds out about the months long criminal inquiry he knew about. My thoughts are with poor Nestor. I hope this doesn't ruin his totally normal relationship with his father friend roommate. Moving on, facing rising COVID deaths, states are lowering age requirements for vaccinations. And speaking of lowered age requirements. Let's get back to Matt Gates' underage sex mess. Here he is inviting Tucker Carlson to be his drowning buddy. I'm not the only person on screen right now who's been falsely accused of a terrible sex act. You were accused of something that you did not do, and so you know what this feels like. You just referred to a, a mentally ill viewer who accused me of a sex crime 20 years ago. Um, and it, of course, it was it was not true. I'd never met the person. Actually, you and I went to dinner uh, about two years ago. Your wife was there, and I brought a friend of mine. You'll remember her. And she was actually threatened by the FBI, told that if she wouldn't cop to the fact that somehow I was involved in some pay-for-play scheme, uh, that she could face trouble. I don't remember the, the woman you're speaking of or the context at all, honestly. Matt Gates' office may have trouble booking him on other shows, considering on the very first one he tried to pin his crime on the host. Rob, given the despicable nature of these two, are we looking at the Republican ticket in 2024? I think there's no question about it. I mean, they're going to be out of jobs pretty soon anyway, so they might have to think about it. Gates needs a quick image rehab. Have Nestor adopt some kids and rebrand yourself as a doddering old grandma. Pa. Yeah, that could work. Moving on, President Biden announced a controversial infrastructure plan that would redistribute the wealth of upstanding corporate citizens to their strange ant-like human inferiors. So today, I'm proposing a plan for the nation that rewards work, not just rewards wealth. It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. If this bill raises corporate taxes even 1%, then we don't need bridges. I and millions of Americans are perfectly fine parking their car at the side of the road, swimming across a sewage-infested river, then pulling my car across said river with a wet, smelly rope. Now, if this bill goes through, that means cash is up for grabs. Time to peddle some influence. Here's the deal, corporate America. This isn't bribery, but I've caught people on the appropriation committee doing some fucked up shit so I can get you a dumb bridge contract. No problem. Build it. Don't build it. Say your infinity pool is a bridge. I don't give a crap. If I were in Congress right now, I'd rip the broadband right out of my district, get the money to fix it, personally pocket it, and tell my constituents to make their own damn internet. Is it me or do y'all think the Statue of Liberty should be smoothed down into a kind of a green cylinder? Absolutely. Mm. Rob, anything we can sneak into this bill for you? Uh, well, I I think it would be uh, mandatory, not mask wearing so much, but muzzles. 
muzzles on Republicans. Rob, that's kinky, and I like it. Yeah. Now, moving on, Rob, 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 you're a movie guy, and we love that. And you know what? I just thought of something. Let's do you a big favor and pitch you ideas for movies. I bet you never get this. My favorite thing in the whole world is when people interrupt my life with these kinds of ideas. You heard it, folks. Interrupt Rob Reiner wherever you find him. Here's my pitch. A quick-witted news reporter striving to bring America the truth, despite a co-worker who clogs the toilet and stinks up the whole studio every single day. Interesting. My movie is sort of a spiritual sequel about a news analyst who confronts a co-worker about his bathroom troubles in the kindest way she can, even offering him a gift of expensive eau de toilette. He pretends to not know what she's talking about, then immediately books a weeks-long vacation to Laos. Mine could really be the third movie in this trilogy about what happens when the co-worker returns from Laos, and it's a romance. The poopy co-worker apologizes to his colleagues for his past behavior and explains that he's taken some new pills and they've eliminated the problem completely. A news analyst finds his new forthcoming approach to life quite sexy, and they hit it off until three weeks later, it occurs to her that she hasn't seen him poop once. She tries to warn him of the dangers of medically induced constipation but it's too late. At that very moment, he's in the bathroom shooting hundreds of tiny, hard poop pellets out of his ginormous crack in all directions. The plumbing is destroyed. The whole bathroom is destroyed. Troy and Lydia break up. Can we talk about something else now? Rob, don't hold back. We have thick skin. Any notes on this trilogy? No, I think it works. I mean, you got a great ending, you know, that, that uh, explosion there at the end. People always like a good explosion. You are going to get a 500-page treatment in your inbox tomorrow. Well, now it's time for some light gossip about those who decide whether we live or die. We're talking Beltway gossip. A source told me that they saw Ted Cruz positively glowing after a grueling rehearsal for his next performance on the banks of the Rio Grande. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, well, Rob, talk around town is, after floating attacks for using car air conditioning, Pete Buttigieg was temporarily shut down and taken to the Pentagon for routine maintenance. Rob, did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that, but I guess this is breaking news for you guys. Get this. A friend of mine spotted a bleary-eyed Barack Obama type of the way in a new memoir about how he was actually more progressive than Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. Would you believe it? Now, listen, Rob, my guy down at the dealership saw Joe Manchin throwing a fit because Chuck Schumer got him the wrong colored Land Rover as an early sweet 75th birthday gift. Hey, Rob, do you have any Beltway gossip for us? Uh, the only Beltway gossip I have is that th there's going to be uh, a new Beltway and it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually going to be made out of a belt. It, it's 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 a certain kind of leather that they're going to use, which is uh, uh, environmentally uh, sound. Rob, are you f with us? Uh, I believe I 